Well, sea turtles are an animal loved by so many people, but cold weather can be dangerous to them, causing life-threatening problems. That's right. CBS 17 Storm Team meteorologist Rachel Dunsing joins us now. And Rachel, you had a chance to see sea turtles. You were super excited about doing mm -hmm. this that are being cared for right here in the Triangle. Oh, yeah. So right now there are three sea turtles currently being housed and cared for at the Museum of Natural Sciences in Raleigh. And staff there are making sure they get all the care they need before they can swim off again. It's alive! This Kemp's Ridley sea turtle is definitely alive, but it and two others needed a little extra TLC after being cold stunned, which is how they ended up at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences in Raleigh. You hear that? That's our turtle's heart. Dr. Dan Dombrowski, director of veterinary sciences at the museum, explains that when ocean water drops below 55 degrees, turtles get stunned, making it hard to get back to warmer water or even lift their heads out of the water to breathe. Once they're that cold, their you know their muscles, their physiology. Um, they can survive, but they can't really respond in a real active way. So the veterinary staff at the museum spent weeks with these sea turtles, getting them healthy so they can return to warmer waters. That means weekly checkups to track their progress. This turtle is gaining weight, which is a good sign, but it has a few injuries that need to keep healing. You guys are like crickets out there, so quiet. Usually we got lots of questions. Because the clinic is inside the museum, it offers a unique experience for people of all ages to learn about these beautiful creatures. When we're doing our weekly exams on the turtles, it's all focused on the turtles, but we can share that experience with people right here in Raleigh. The museum partners with aquariums across North Carolina to not just rehab these sea turtles, but make sure this particular species is around for a long time. Everything that we do here with these turtles, it's it's not just, you know, our state and our country. It's a, a global effort for, for conservation, and it's really important to protect and save these most critical endangered species. Yeah. These turtles are going to be at the museum for a little while longer, but soon enough, they'll return to the warm waters of the Gulf Stream doing what they do best. And at 70 degrees, that's plenty of heat and temperature, and that's where they, they do well. And then they can readjust and get back to being turtles. Such a fun story. So yeah. Dr. Dombrowski says the sea turtles can come in with frostbite, pneumonia, in addition to a lot of other injuries. These particular turtles, which are called Kemp's Ridley mm -hmm. sea turtles, they're the smallest sea turtle species and they are the most endangered as well. So the museum actually does live exams, not just on sea turtles, but lots of different animals every Tuesday and Thursday around 1.30. If you need just another excuse to go to the science museum. My